Hey guys, how you doing? Well, this video is for the holster fellas, and I just thought I'd let you check out a holster that I just picked up. This is a Lewis made holster, shoulder holster, made for a Bushnell. It's, it's, I believe it's for, well, I know it's for a scoped six inch revolver. You can see here Bushnell and the numbers are 930-46. This has the tie down strap with a retention screw. And also on the interior, it has a couple metal posts in there. So if you've got a gun such as a python, you wouldn't want to uh, run something like this down in here and possibly damage the finish. But I believe this, the holster guys and the gun guys, let me know. Tell me what you think this is for. Uh, as you can see in here, you've got plenty of room for a small scope, not a large one, but a good enough size one. I think it may be made for a Smith & Wesson or a Ruger, possibly. But I believe this is contracted by Lewis. As you can tell, it's got the strap that ties down and snaps from the back. And there is no Lewis stamp on there, but I believe Lewis actually contracted this out for uh, Bushnell. Uh, let me see here. This is a Lewis holster. You can usually tell by a Lewis because you'll see it's stamped here. And this is also for a six inch. And again, you have, Lewis has made some variations on this, on their holsters on the attachment points. But one thing they haven't strayed away from is the single tie down strap on your left or right side, depending on what style of holster, if it's a left hand or a right hand. And you have the same yoke. You can see a little discoloration on here, right there. But otherwise, when you hold these yokes together, really, really nice. On this holster, it's a shoulder holster and I believe it's made for hunting. You can actually detach this from sna with the snaps. Now this isn't, the, well wait a minute, I uh -huh. spoke too soon. I'll be dog. This will actually fit through a belt too. Good grief, I didn't pick that up. I didn't notice that. So you can either use this as a cross draw scoped six inch revolver holster or you can attach the snaps and you can apply the harness, attach the harness rather, for a revolver holster. Pretty cool. But on a full underlug, these posts are coming very close right here. I don't believe that that was made for a full underlugged uh, revolver. I believe it was made for a Smith & Wesson 44 Magnum or possibly a Ruger. There's lots of room in here for the scope. See if I can't get down in there. Lots of room in there for a scope, but a small scope. 
Now the Python Hunters, when they came out, Python Hunters had a Leopold scope. And uh, I don't know if they had Bushnell, I can't remember. I believe it was mainly Leopold. Bushnell could have been an option. But those were 8 inch revolvers. This is for a 6. Very nice. So let's go ahead and get this one out of the way. And the old Starskin Hutch rig. That's been made famous in all the different TV shows. This. Now, let's get to this. This is a very nice Buckemeyer revolver holster. It is missing the strap. That's unfortunate, but I believe I have one. I'll have to check, but it holds 12 bullets, and it's a swivel. So pretty cool on this. Very nicely made. It's called a Patrolman. And it's not, it's not like it's a rare holster or anything, it's just a cool holster. Back in the 80s I saw uh, Bianchi had very nice holsters that actually had the 12 bullet, lo or 12 bullet loops and a swivel for $34.95, brand new, in basket weave and it was lined. Uh, this is about as close as I got. But, uh, let's see here, one more thing. Before I let you go, this is one holster that I've just fallen in love with. This is a Buckemeyer holster. And this is the daily driver. This is my daily driver right here. It's perfect for concealed carry because it rides high on your belt. The belt loops go through here. What's really nice about this, it does have the reinforced thumb snap. What's really nice about this is that it's very, very supple and it's been worn and it's been used. Let me take care of this. It's been worn and it's been used and that's a very nice thing. Because new holsters, most people will tell you, it's like having a baseball glove and people would break, have to break them in and spend hours breaking them in. This needs no break in. And this is actually, uh, let's see, looks like a B-01-004-42 slash or dash uh, L dash W. It's just a simple, simple revolver holster and it fits the Colt just fine. And it'll also fit a Chief Special and frames that are small frame revolvers, but it's just, it's, it's ideal for concealed carry. I mean, just ideal. It's just, it fits like a glove, and it's just so, so nice. It's basket weave, but the basket weave has actually been used and worn so much that this holster, there's no rips or no tears, this holster is just ideal for concealed carry on a small frame revolver. Just very, very nice. Very nice. Anyway, guys, I uh, hope you're doing well. Uh, for the radio guys, I'll just show you. I've been working on some of the zone one channel one. These are incredible radios. Channel two, channel three, zone two, channel three. Scan. I'm just getting into the CPS, and these are just fine radios. I mean, just. The capability is just intense on these. Uh, anyway, this is mainly going to be a holster video, so I'm going to leave it at holsters for now. I'll get back to the radio videos another time here. 
But uh, yeah, anyway, that's it. Take it easy, guys. Later on. Hope you're doing well. Have a good weekend.